So Marvel fans, we're still adjusting. We're still processing the Robert Downey Jr. Victor Von Doom news, right? We're still not only processing it, but coming to terms, accepting it, or not. And as the title more than suggests, did Robert Downey Jr., has Robert Downey Jr. betrayed the Marvel fans? Now, I don't necessarily feel that way. In fact, I still have this let's see approach. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see, right? It's gonna happen, uh, whether we like it or not. And I think that's, of course, the biggest variable in all this. People can bitch, we can complain, we can whine about it all, but it's gonna happen. So, unless you want to boycott the MCU or the you know or, or Avengers Doomsday. Uh, this is going to happen. But when you look over the last, you know, week or so, I guess, it's been about a week or so, right? Um, all the articles and the videos and all the speculation, it's all, you know, it's it's pretty spot on. Uh, spot on. The the speculation is, is pretty, I think, on target and spot on. But it's, it's all sort of, you know, in, in sort of a geek, affectionate, you know, I'm, I'm a geek, uh, in an affectionate way, comic book, and, you know, there's been Tony Stark or Doctor Doom variants in the comics, and it's going to be multiverse and mirror, 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 mirror and all. Great. I mean, possible. I, I definitely think it's possible. But I think when you're looking at Robert Downey Jr., who's put in his time, right? 10, 11, is it, I think it's at least 10, 11 movies over the course of how many years as Tony, as Tony Stark, Iron Man, he is, you know, part, not, he's not only part of the MCU, many people would say he is the MCU, the heart and soul of the Avengers and the MCU. So, so Robert Downey Jr. has nothing to prove, you know, nothing to, uh, to get that sort of excited about in terms of, a character other than playing something that he thinks is, I guess, a challenge. He won an Oscar, right? Academy Award for Oppenheimer. So there, there's not many horizons and challenges and, uh, you know, frontiers that he has left. But one would be, and that would be playing, I think, a classic Doctor Doom. Not a variant, not... A multiverse mirror mirror, a classic Victor Von Doom. Because if he doesn't play that, if he takes what Marvel might be planning, which is, you know, viable and certainly possible, if he takes the I'm a multiverse mirror mirror variant, I think that's the ultimate betrayal. And again, to be clear, I'm I'm not saying it is a betrayal, but I've got I've got to say. Most of my friends, in fact, all of my friends that are MCU, Marvel, uh, you know, junkies and fans, look at it as a betrayal. Look at it as ridiculous. Look at it as insane. And of course, that seems to be the prevailing sort of wisdom and vibe throughout. But me personally, every single buddy of mine that loves Marvel is like, this is ridiculous. It's douche and it's insane. So to avoid that, or I should say to lessen it, say lessen the blow, um, because if it is a Tony Stark variant, a Tony uh, Von Doom, a Tony Victor Von Doom, I think people will be doubly or triply upset because then it truly is, you know, Tony Stark, Iron Man, it's Marvel saying, we gotcha, and now it's not, you know, we're playing fast and loose with this stuff, which is, of course, science fiction, comic books. But if it's a classic Doctor Doom, then it's one actor playing another character. And I think it might be early, just my opinion. I'm pretty sure one of the quotes that Robert Downey Jr. said, maybe at the actual Comic Con or, or subsequently, it's like Chris Evans going from Human Torch to Captain America. Uh, th there's no variant with, with, uh, with Human Torch into Captain America. Chris Evans, one actor, is playing two characters and two very distinct. No variant, no multiverse, no mirror, mirror. 
So this is, you know, just it's my speculation. It's my guess. Who knows? Could be wrong. But I think the ultimate sort of, you know, slap in the face, which many are looking at, you know, this news as being is the problem. It, it doesn't have anything to do with comic book geekery and sci-fi and variants and, and even like Chris Evans coming over and playing Captain America, it's more a betrayal because Tony Stark, Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. was so vital and central. Chris Evans is a nice guy. Human Torch was cool, but he, he, there was no essential vi vital role that he played in Fantastic Four. Two movies, not very successful, if I recall. Now they're rebooting them. So with him playing Captain America, that is who Chris Evans really is now for everybody. And we don't have to go over again that Tony Stark is Robert Downey Jr. and always will be. So there you have it. What do you think? Did he betray the fans? I'm not necessarily saying it at all. I think there's a more than common thread and prevailing wisdom of this, that he, it's a betrayal. It's a hoodwink. It's a big kind of scam and a shell game. There you go. We'll see. Time will tell. Hope you guys are enjoying. Hope you're subscribing. See you soon.